staying with us. There's some new information today about the woman who rammed the gate at the White House yesterday and then led Capitol Police on a wild chase. Officers say she made delusional comments about conversations in her head with President Obama. Danielle Nottingham has the latest now from the Capitol. Law enforcement sources tell CBS News nine months before Miriam Carey rammed her car into a White House barricade, she told Connecticut police President Obama had put her home under electronic surveillance and that she was communicating with him. Carey told police she was a prophet and predicted the president would put the city of Stanford under a lockdown. Delusional statements uh, that uh, President Obama was listening to her and communicating and so on. So they're going back over those reports to see if any of that can enlighten them. Carrie was not armed when she led police on a high speed chase from the White House to the Capitol. Her one year old daughter was in the back seat. Police say they opened fire on Carrie because she was using her car as a weapon. Her daughter is now in protective custody. Investigators believe Carrie drove straight here to Washington from her home in Stamford Thursday. But why she made the four and a half hour trip with her daughter is still unclear. Dr. Brian Evans, a periodontist in Hamden, Connecticut, said Carrie worked as a hygienist in his office for about two years before she was fired last year. Sometimes the, it just doesn't work out. Uh, there was nothing unusual about her leaving our office. Sources tell CBS News Carrie had fallen and hit her head last year, and afterwards her behavior changed. Relatives and friends suggest she was battling depression. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Capitol Hill.